No, I agree. And something that I want to talk about too that I think would combat a lot of these issues that we're having in the education system is classical education. And this is something, so um, my cousins actually go to like a classical education school like here Mm -hmm. in Phoenix and it's a charter school. So that means that like you're getting private school education, but you don't have to pay and it's Mm -hmm. a lottery system. So you like apply and whoever's like picked out gets to go. I love that. So um, they go to a school here and it's a great heart's a great book school. So basically like they learn from the original text and they follow that structure of like that article that I sent you. Yep. And I think that it would be really cool if a lot more schools kind of took on this model, this model and worked away from the common core because I think, um, you know, understanding like historical context and understanding like the root of where information has come from is really a valuable like skill set and will be applicable to whatever you decide to do Mm -hmm. as an adult, whether it's a timeless or a career after college, you know? Um, The thing that stood out to me the most in that article was it included that children younger than fifth grade mm -hmm. have a mental predisposition during those early years to naturally ask more why questions, Mm -hmm. which is why kids are so inquisitive. Like if you're reading a book or they're like, what's this or what's that? Like they're more, they more naturally ask those why Mm -hmm. questions. But then at fifth grade and above, the brain starts to naturally be more factual. Like, yeah, so what what it said was the early years of schools a school is spent absor- absorbing facts, systematically laying out the foundations for advanced study. Then in middle school or middle grades, students learn to think through arguments and start asking those why questions. Then in high school, they learn to express themselves and share their arguments. Mm-hmm. So like, I guess the younger, when you're really young, learning like the facts and kind of the root of like grammar and that sort of thing is like the best time to learn that. Like even to learn a second language, it's always best to do that. Yeah. Youngest. Cause your neurons are just like, yeah, all of, yeah. Yeah. So flexible. And then it's like figuring out those why questions and thinking through like arguments. And then it's learning how to express applying those it. arguments. Yeah. So it's like foundation, why express, like it's mm-hmm. kind of following that like flow that makes sense you know yeah no it makes a lot of sense 